ne the next thing we will watch is called called by the Secret Service in Caracas, Venezuela from Kurt Kass. I am really interested in South America. I was planning to travel there before the corona but of course the corona came and threw in everything so my plan was to study Spanish because I know if you study Spanish it will be easier for you to communicate and of course you have a better time there but it's a no for now to the corona things and everywhere so at least we can watch people who are there behind me in this building lay the bones of the man who liberated his country from the spanish or so they say i'm at the mausoleum of simon bolivar and today i'm in the city of caracas caracas is this the capital of venezuela caracas i think so let's go check out what the city of where he was born is doing like today and after everything he's been through um, not to mention i've only got like 25 dollars left on me um until the end of my stay because i don't isn't in this country hard hit by the inflation and these doors he's showing Aren't they worth a lot there or something? I don't know if you guys know, Venezuela is a socialist country and yeah, foreigners can't withdraw any cash. Yeah, so I'm in a little bit of a sticky situation. But yeah, also the other day when I went with Mariani um, to Petari, I did have two undercover policemen follow me which is uh, interesting. Imagine. So I have to be really careful who I speak to and what type of comments I pass. So yeah, check it out. This is a revolutionary artwork and the statue of the man himself, Simon Bolivar with his right hand man, Sucre. This is the Centro Historico, the historical center but there's barrio over there, hood over there, more barrio over there. And that way is the old colonial zone with the churches, etc. It's looking clean we here. We want to get out of here because but we we'll want see. to go to a more interesting part of town where we can eat something because I'm starving. Uh, I like very much the South American food though. I have been in Barcelona. I eat only south american food there from <coughs> venezuela peru argentina colombia um and cut our hair and whatever else we can do in the capital of venezuela so vamos vamos buenas como estas que es eso chicha chicha Ah, of course, he's bueno. speaking Spanish. Ah, yo siempre quería probar una. ¿Puedo? Bueno, ¿qué, qué tamaños hay? Ahí es bolívares, eso. cinco bolívares, un dólar y medio, un dólar, cuatro bolívares. This is the coolest part about South America. They are all talking, uh, you can speak in Spanish there. And if you know Spanish, you can have an amazing travel all over their country. <coughs> Only Brazil, I think, it's Portuguese. Un dólar. ¿Qué es chicha exactamente? Chicha es alguna bebida a base de arroz, leche, vainilla, leche condensada, canela. Es una okay. bebida tradicional de la nación. Ajá. In my country we have something similar, but it's not a drink. It's uh, it's prepared in a oven. Again, rice with milk, cinnamon, and it's very good. They're using it here as a dessert. I don't like yeah, I don't like it that much, but most of the people are in love with it. Creole. Creole. ¿Qué es Creole? Criolla es... Criolla. ¿Qué es de la nación? Es exclusivamente de Venezuela. Ah, okay. 
Okay. Uh, it's something traditional it's there. With rice. Rice. Rice on sugar, rice. Sugar, rice, cinnamon. Okay. The same, the same. Sugar, right? Cinnamon. Spanish, yeah. But we are baking it in the oven. Sorry? Cinnamon. You, uh, huh? Your city. My city? city? Yeah. That in South Africa. Yes. Uh, Sydney. Sydney. No, that's in Australia. Sydney. Australia. This, Check it out. Uh, is this ice? Si, Australia. This is very interesting. Wow. Okay. Ice. Eso es helado or? Eso es frío. Frío. Yeah. Frío. Ah, okay. And more condensed milk. Leche condensado. Leche condensado. Leche condensado. Wow. Tradicional en Venezuela. In the store. Yeah. Vamos a probar. Looking very good. I will try it for sure. Mm -hmm. I bet it's very good. Of course. It's amazing, bro. Super rico. Wow. It's like a postre. Yeah. Bebida criolla de aquí, tradicional. Yeah. It's like the raspado, it's like the la, la chicha. La chicha. There's a lot of food. It has the same taste as that postre with arroz. Yes, with arroz. With rice. Yeah. I think in Turkey they have a dessert like this. It's called sutlash. Yeah. It tastes like a. Um, we are doing. A rice we are doing it in like our rice, country here. Condensed too. milk and uh, cinnamon. It's really nice and sweet and uh, thick. Me alegro que te Venezuela has been through a huge economic crisis. Yeah. Um, but it has improved a lot, and it's still improving. As you guys can see, there are vendedores, people selling things, shops are open, there's food. Um, so yeah, the situation here is much better. We just have to find a bus or a metro because I want to go to the other part of town. Hola, buenas. Es va un estación y metro. Estación de metro Chacaito. 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 Ah, perfecto. Hola, buenas. buenas. ¿Cuánto es? 1500. 1500. ¿Se me cambió por un dólar? Sí. Sí. Listo, gracias. Ok. Alright. The bus is old, but at least it's clean. Um, I got my bully bars here. 4,000, 3,500 bully bars here. Hola. <laughs> okay. Campena. Tienes pena? No. Okay. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Marjorie. 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 <laughs> All right. Not gonna lie, the girl was beautiful, though. Got at the bus earlier than I wanted to. A lot of food stands here in Caracas. Venezuelans really like their hamburgers and hot dogs. You get one dollar. Don't like the hamburgers and the hot dogs, guys. The hot dogs. And yeah, hamburger is a little bit more expensive. Um, I just find it so ironic that here in Venezuela they use dollars, eat hamburgers and hot dogs, and uh, the government is literally an enemy of America, and they literally hate America. Yeah, but the issue is that <clears throat> dollar is very strong there. So they prefer to put their money in dollars, so in the future they can have some benefit of it, because their money worth nothing to the other countries. Uh, <coughs> yeah, pretty, pretty ironic. Anyways, 
you can see they're selling like books and everybody is just trying to make a a living we've got some books uh what is this a haircut place oh damn i need a haircut hey, this is the perfect place you get a haircut let's see hola que tal <laughs> haircut place on the street <laughs> it's funny to me how <clears throat> they are seeing someone white there and the instant mind in his head is he is from the US. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Carlos. Carlos. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just like Kurt. Uh, right. Is this <clears throat> in behind some? book reading club or some coffee where they are selling books or something Carlos okay <coughs> just like Kurt uh, Kurt uh, no 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 Gerard Piqué, no, Gerard Piqué, brother. He's Spanish, though. Shakira is good for though. ¿Qué tal? I like the Spanish language very much. <clears throat> this thing is a major problem in all poor countries because every big company is investing their resources in, in the capitals so all the good jobs are there and in the small <clears throat> in the small cities they don't have these op opportunities to have a good work so they need to emigrate in a better country or they need to go to the capital because the business is only in the capital it's not spread across the country this can be fixed if the business is spread across the country so if they have some good opportunities to work in their small town they they will not have the urge to move somewhere else But, uh, 2022 to have some issues with basic service like electricity, water and gas. This is very bad. Yeah. 
Sí. Entonces era más fácil salir a robar que salir a trabajar porque no te alcanzaba. Sí. Pero ahorita, gracias a Dios, sí, se ha mejorado bastante. Queda la base trabajar en la calle. Porque tú cobras tres en la calle. Y, y, y bueno, tú te puedes hacer 10 cortes. Pero una barbería tiene que pagar porcentaje a la barbería. Sí. No se nos es igual. Ah, sí, claro, porcentaje que la barbería. ¿Y qué tal trabajando aquí? ¿No, como no te, necesitas permiso del gobierno o por la guardia? Por la no, policía? porque nosotros de, de necesitar permiso, sí. Por Entonces, nosotros sea. hacemos labor social. Ah, ok. O sea, también el área limpia, barremos. Eh. This is very good if you think about it. You let the people doing their thing there, but they are making the place safe, clean, and better for. All the people from the community. Very lovely, guys. A lot of people are scared to go there because of the high crime level. Guys, I almost couldn't use my last 20 bucks there. Have I got everything? Yeah. All right. How does this fresh cut look that I was in? Much need of. It's top notch. How do I look? I think I look quite alright, to be honest. Ah, there's more barber shops around here. This whole bridge is full of them. Guys playing chess over there. Hola. More old timers playing chess. There's some lady calling me over. Let's go see what she wants. <laughs> Let's go see what she wants. I'm wondering what are the gas prices there. Buenos dias. Que graba. Tu ciudad? <laughs> la ciudad, la ciudad. Ah, yo Ay, eres bello. Ah, por YouTube. Eres bello, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cómo? Eres bello, vale. Yo. Sí. Usted también. ¿Sabe la bolsa cada? Harina, Cali, harina pan. Sí, esta es la bolsa que nos dan hoy. ¿Es es San Geo from the government? No, harina pan Cali. Ah, eso es. Wow. Y arroz. Los granitos estos que nunca fallan. Ah, ok. Sí, mira, pasta. These are some basic food so they can push through the month or something for the poorest people in the country. Pasta. Arroz. Rega café. Regalo en este, esa la gente, ¿eh? No, bueno, damos un dólar y medio, todos los meses. Sí. Por esa bolsita que es del gobierno que nos yeah. da. Yeah. Wow, ¿qué tienen más? Arroz, eso por una familia. Para una familia. Eso tiene que valer por cuánto tiempo? Eso sirve? nos dura dos días, tres días. Eso dura dos, tres días. Bro, how can you eat that much for two days? I, I can't believe that. If the familia consists of 10 people, it's maybe possible, but if I eat only this, I think I'll eat it like two weeks or more. Okay. I can't believe this can be eaten for two days. If his son is not bodybuilder or something, to eat that amount of carbs like pasta and rice, you can't eat this for two days. ¿Verdad? ¿Quieres probar mi café? Claro. Ah, bueno. Bueno, un cafecito. Este café es el mejor café de la Candelaria, yo. ¿Mejor café de aquí? De la Candelaria. Ah, qué rico. Esto pertenece a la Candelaria. Tómate su cafecito. ¿Tiene azúcar? Ay, sí, tú no tomas ¿Sí? azúcar. No, no, no azúcar, bro. ¿Qué? Eso tiene azúcar. ¿Por qué would you ruin the coffee with sugar? Azúcar Montalbán. Bien rico. Sí. Fuerte, espero que es fuerte. Sí, este es el café de la caja hoy. De la bolsa. Ah, ok. Sí. Ah, viene de ahí. Con la azúcar. Ah, qué bueno. 1500. Ok. Ay, mira, que ya no paga. ¿Eh? Café. 
Listo. Yo sí le voy a cobrar porque yo me la paso esperando. Ese sueldo de verano me alcanza. Listo. Ya que lo voy a echar. Ok. Muchas gracias. Okay. Buena suerte. Nice one, Kurt. Que no que <coughs> bien, que vamos, vamos a ver. Ok, un putic. Let's go see. Hola, ¿cómo estás? The bad thing when you are in a poor country is that everyone, when I see you, they expecting you to throw money around because they think you are rich. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Mari. Mari, mucho gusto. ¿Usted corta cabello aquí? Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. ¿Cuántos años? El corte. Sí. Tres dólares. No, ¿cuántos años trabajas aquí? No, aquí tengo un año. Pero un año. como barbera tengo 17 años. 17 años. ¿Y por qué estás trabajando aquí? ¿Tú, tú, tú antes trabajaste en, en barbería? barbería? Sí. ¿Y Pero ahora aquí? En... No, está dando como para uno trabajar en una barbería. ¿Está cerrado? Yeah. No. No. You can't afford to pay the <clears throat> tax per month about the hair salon, I guess. That's why everyone are working outside. Ah, tiene que pagar por tu, tu, tu silla. Entonces así es mejor. Y no tiene problemas con la, con la ley. Así en la calle, ¿no? Oh, bueno. En estos días estaba medio fastidioso, pero después nos dejaron probar todo. Sí. Ah, un foto. Ok. Te grabaste el carro a él también, ¿no? No, que el carro, ese carro oh. tan feo, ¿no? No, mi amor. Ah, joder, ahí. Ah. Sí. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. 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 How is he so brave when what you know see some white cute gringo <laughs> bruh? Uh, uh, damn. All right, let's cross the road here without getting run over. Jesus Christ! <laughs> A lot of cars. Um, the metro is over there. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, vendors selling all types of things here. <laughs> Fruit, vegetables, snacks, chucherias, hot dogs, cakes. Lemonade, uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, popcorn. Just to see this right now is pretty impressive. If you, if you just think that a few years ago, none of that was here. Um, people could barely get meat in the grocery store. Um, and we're picking from. Yeah, the I like that. <clears throat> Venezuela is rising, guys. It's what's. A lot worse, as I know. And actually, Mariani told me that there was thousands of people that were eating uh, food out of the rubbish on the streets. And uh, yeah, the stories you hear are just depressing. Hey! <laughs> oh, I think they're even surprised. We're at the middle there, of Lya, there are Lya, tourists. Hoyada. Let's see. Oh, it smells like it smells like piss. I um, wanted to show you guys the metro here. I'm wondering if the metro is working as it should be. Here we go. No oh, entry fee. Are working. You're just going there. Feel a little bit uh, insecure filming. Um, because you never know what type of authority or official is going to come up to you and tell you that you can't film. Because, uh, yeah, that's how it is. Hola. Buenas estás? ¿Cómo estás? Anyways, check it out. <laughs> 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 Let's 
Sí, eso es la metro. Ah, it's quite a ride, actually. Sí, ya. Son all tickets. So it's free, gratis. Esta estación se llama Capitolio. 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 Es la estación. El Capitolio, ¿es this the capital? Más concurrida. Sí. Mucha gente. Yeah. Hora pico, mucha gente. Hora pico. Eh, Choco, un grupo de personas. Sí. So as you guys can see, it was free. I didn't pay a single cent, and the guardians were there. Maybe it's free because they are not paying enough. Anybody can take it. And no one want to work there. So check it out. I can't understand how Metro can be free. Muchos ladrones que roban carteles. Sí. Bueno, yo no tengo. Okay. Eso dirección Chacaito. Pro patria. Chacaito aquí al lado. El lado. Ah, bueno, voy al lado pues. First Metro that I've ever taken for free. Well, besides riding black, but I mean where it's officially free. I guess that's one good thing about the socialism. Yeah, but this is not the reason it's free, bro. It's something else. I think no one wants to work there. Smells are right over here. It's clean. To me, it's cleaner than some of the metro stations. Or it's too expensive, and I don't know. There is an. I'm hundred percent sure there is another reason. The metro is free. How can you enter this metro? I wonder how we're gonna film it here. The train doesn't even look that bad. Like the condition. Oof, it's hot. What's up? Todo bien? <laughs> the good thing is he is talking Spanish. Would be a lot more scarier if he if he doesn't know Spanish, though. All right, guys, got out at the Plaza Venezuela because apparently there's more things to do around here. It's just two stations um, before Chacaito, where I've been staying at the hotel. Yes, yes, what's up? How are you? What's your name? Tu nombre? Hi. Tu nombre? The other girl is just looking him from bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom. She likes him. Hey, tu nombre? Ana. Ana, and tu nombre? Ana. Tu nombre? My name is... My name is... Huh? Alexa. Angelica. Alexa. Alexa. Okay. Okay, mucho gusto. <laughs> Aleska is looking right. good though. Let's get out the station. Va a salir de por ahí. Pregúntale qué va ahí. Este va. ¿Quieres saber de qué país eres? ¿De qué país? Eh, yo. Yo soy de Sudáfrica. Yes. ¿Y ustedes de aquí, Caracas? <laughs> He's shocking the guys <laughs> with. Cool. Telling them he's from South Africa. Everyone are expecting that you should be black. Ah, okay. Listen, gracias. Igualmente. Let's go back. Damn. Going the wrong way. Disculpa, señor. Just leave like this. Disculpa. Okay. Free metro ride. It's very weird to be free, guys. Something is not. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um. I think we're getting. Ah, there we go. This bus to Venezuela. Let's see. Oh, there's like. He's not using a navigation or something. Just randomly roaming. SWAT team there. We're not gonna film them. They're gonna ask me why I'm filming. No, estoy grabando usted. Sí, sí, sí. Tranquilo. Ahí Plaza Venezuela, ¿cierto? Sí. Ok, gracias. ¿Qué? 
right, guys. Um, well, I'm out here at the Plaza Venezuela. I just got stopped by the Secret Service of Venezuela called Seven. They pulled me into an inter interrogation room and uh, asked me questions for the last 10 15 minutes. Super. Imagine you are so surprised that you are seeing a tourist. So the Secret Service came, catch him, and interrogate him. Bruh. Rude. Uh, super aggressive, didn't listen to me, arrogant. Um, I told them I wasn't filming you, I'm not interested in your little communist secret service. Um, they didn't listen, and uh, yeah, they even wanted to, they took the camera, they even wanted to check out the footage. Um, and then they asked me if I'm a YouTuber, and I said, yeah. They said, what's your channel name? I showed them my channel. They checked it out on the internet, and they said, okay, carry on. Um, <laughs> well, they saw the one million <coughs> subs, though. Yeah. I don't know what they said. Ridiculous. Anyways, let's carry on. We made it to the Plaza Venezuela. All along this commercial street, which they call the Boulevard of Plaza Venezuela, um, you get food, snacks. As you guys can see, they're selling clothes. Um, a it's very crowded, like every capital. But the buildings looks very old. And <clears throat> I think they, they don't have the money to upgrade them. Popcorn stand. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Uh, there's all these little stores selling clothing and fake shoes, actually. Quanto vale? 25. 25 dollars for an Adidas shoes. Here's a KFC. It should be pretty fake. I'm gonna skip the arepas or the empanadas for now because I've had enough of that. And I want to show you guys what a Australian yeah, KFC it's is. It's because like. of the corruption, of course. Oh, it's full. But of course, KFC is there. It's a capital, and from my travel experience, the things I know about KFC and McDonald's. If you are just in a random spot from a town and if you see McDonald's or a KFC, you know you are some of the main areas in the town. We got our little test here of Venezuelan KFC. So, how does it look first of all? To me it looks like the chicken is a little bit uh, pale. It's just looking terrible like all KFCs. In our country, KFCs, I don't like. I have a friend who is enjoying it, but I'm not liking KFC. Some random chicken seller on the street have better fried wing than KFC. Here at least. The, uh, the batter. So, yeah. It's a little try. Um, the prices here are... Bro, imagine you're going to South America where they have amazing food and you're eating KFC. Kurt, I'm disappointed, bro. What is this? Every street vendor will have better food than this, I think. Incredibly expensive. For a bucket of um, chicken, it costs $40. So for a family bucket, it costs $40. I don't know if it costs that price. Who is able to afford this trash food for $40? Aren't they working for $10 per month? How is this thing even exist? in this town. How is this possible? Price in the US, 
yes, but in South Africa it doesn't cost that, in Germany it doesn't cost that, and uh, certainly in Colombia it does not cost that. So without further ado, let's try Venezuelan KFC. Let's give it a go. It's KFC. You can taste this KFC. Uh, KFC ingredients. The typical KFC batter that everybody knows. But All right, guys, we made it to the station. You are in South Chicago. America, bro. How can you eat End KFC? Boulevard here, and uh, there's a really good empanada place over here. That I yes, better eat empanada. Quesadilla. Uh, eat something from there. Um, so KFC, bro. Empanadas we can get. Hopefully they accept my change. Buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? Buenas tardes. Ah, no hay mucho empanadas, ¿sabes? ¿eh? Hay de queso, pollo, comida, chorizo. Chorizo. Estas empanadas están looking good. ¿Ven de cerveza también? I'm 100% sure they were a lot more tastier than the oiled fries and the chicken from the KFC. Me voy a tomar una cuarta. Lo de porque estoy. Tomás Etor. Ya no hay. Bueno, una empanada de queso y chorizo con una malta, por favor. Okay. All right, guys, we got the malta malt. This is a beer. It's from the same company, Polar, but this doesn't have any alcohol in it. Ah, yes. without alcohol. Picante. Picante. Wasakaka. Wasakaka. Who's drinking beer without alcohol? All right. So let's see. You're not going to drive a car there, I guess. Cheese empanada. Empanadas are a typical food that Venezuelans eat in the morning. Tengo siete, ocho, cinco, seis, siete y esto como ocho. Vamos ahí. Okay. Y para regresar, ¿no? solo un ratico ahí, nada más. Guys, um, no, estoy hablando con eso. Uh, I've taken a motor taxi here. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Gregory. 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 Okay. This is I'm not. Taking a motor taxi here with Gregory. This is not a Spanish gonna, name. Take me to a place which is near uh, 23 de enero, cierto? Um, which is a barrio, a dangerous hood here in Caracas. And over there, I want to show you guys the murals, the socialist murals of Chavez and all of that. So we're gonna go there, he's gonna accompany me for $8. He's gonna take me there. I'm gonna film a little video, show you guys the mural, and then we're gonna go back. Um, because I don't have any more change. Would you guys believe that there would be a mosque in the middle of Caracas? I hit so, I think he's traveling without money or phone to not be robbed. This is <clears throat> this is what I think. Because I can't understand why and how can you roam around a capital you have never been in without without some navigation or something. Muslims in South America? Now you can start seeing the murals and all of that of Chavez. There's the eyes of Chavez. Ojitos de Chavez. There's Chavez, there's Fidel Castro. This is la victoria siempre. Fidel Castro was a very good friend of Chavez. Simon Bolivar, Hugo Chavez. These here are the first houses or the first buildings that were built here in Caracas. The road, the road at least doesn't seem so bad. Che Guevara. Che Guevara. 
all of these houses over here were built by Jimenez, which was the dictator in the 50s. Todo eso se llama 23 de enero. Sí, todo esto está donde se pierde la vida. Con este casas rojos, ¿eh? I guess Caracas is a very big city. Is this like a ghetto or something here? Or the favelas? There's some more propaganda from him. Chavez there. Ah, Che Guevara. Chavez vive. Entonces, puedes decir que la gente aquí están en favor. Are the people really liking these dictators? So they are putting their face all over the country. Aren't the situation right there that terrible because of these people? De, de Chavez, cierto? Como la gente aquí... Mayormente. Mayormente, aquí. cierto? Voy a grabar un ratico ahí. Dame dos minutos, ¿eh? Para grabar eso no hay problema, cierto? No, no. Ok. All right, guys, we made it to the Barrio 23 de Genero. As you guys can see, here is the revolutionary Hugo Chavez, the man who changed Venezuela into a socialist country, who came into power in the 1999. Uh, but this <coughs> don't um, work. And he ruled for 11 years until he died of cancer, and he passed it on to Nicolas Maduro, who is the current president or dictator however you want to put it all along this barrio is uh, murals and propaganda socialist propaganda there he is again over there is this the the ghetto or something like this in the end of the town um and it's actually quite interesting quite funny but it's very cool to me very interesting very colorful ironic because these red big buildings that you see along the way were built by the dictator Jimenez. Uh, I think you have places with the same style in Barcelona too. Uh, which was actually really against socialism. Uh, so yeah, Venezuela has a lot of history. Uh, yeah, very interesting stuff you would see in post-Soviet countries. I mean, it feels like a Cuba. Or something like that with all the soviet countries anyways we're gonna get out of here i'm living in one of them this and there the are a lot of things like this um but yeah let's carry on Listen. i mean the <coughs> memorials not the favela style of house we're gonna go home gregory is gonna take me home ah there we go in that building over there is the body of Chavez apparently. Oh, the houses are nice and colorful. Yeah, it's very uh, colorful. I really like that. Yeah. I would not recommend for you guys to come here by yourselves. If you do decide to take a little snoop around, come here with a trusty motor taxi. I have to be really be careful with which faces I catch on camera. Bro, this is like <clears throat> in every country. You are not going alone in the poorest area of the city. Especially in the big cities. Because there is a lot of garbage, thieves, ducks and things like this. Only illegal stuff. So, you are going there only with a local. One, the, the military and the officials don't like it, and then two, the gangsters also don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a gypsy cult with less garbage. Like it. Um, I had a little thing there in the barrio Petare, and yeah, two guys on motors didn't really like me filming them. It's always a risk. <clears throat> hey, mucho gusto, gang. And especially in South America, when you can see there, when they see someone white, there is someone, some kind of reaction every time, and especially. If they see somehow you are rich or you have expensive watch, phone or things like this, 
and they can be provoked from you filming them just to initiate something with you so i think that's the reason he's without money without phone he's like with 20 dollars in his pockets and that's it all right guys we made it back to chakaito um, and i am going to go home now i'm going to end the video over here um, but before i do i want to quickly show you guys the hotel what's the name of the hotel anyways this is the room he's not sleeping alone there why is he knocking so yeah um I've been paying $45 a night here for this hotel. Check it $45 out. $45 is a lot, bro. There's the beds. Came and did the beds today. Cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to end that video over here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This hotel is looking like it's built 100 years ago. It's more expensive than the Euro capitals. Um, I had an interesting time going around, especially after getting... Depends on the hotel though, because in Europe it's a lot more expensive, of course. But you can find a better place for less money. Oh shit, we haven't checked. The most important thing, have I still got my laptops? Yes, still got my laptops, still got my camera stuff. So, <laughs> we're good. I hope I don't get a knock on the door in the middle of the night by the... Venezuelan FBI. So I'm gonna end the video here. See you guys next time. Ciao. Ciao, Kurt. It was a very good video, guys. But imagine everyone are surprised when I see a white guy tourist there. This is very bad for the country, especially when the Venezuelan Secret Service. I'll interrogate you, why are you filming? Bruh.